Hi guys, it's your one only by Nikki. Welcome to another vlog, guys. Thank you for joining us on another cooking video. So, guys, before I get into the um, cooking, I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the co beautiful comments and who come into my channel for the first time. Welcome to my family. One love. Thank you for joining. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. So, um, before I start my cooking, I'd like to say a big thank you to Miss Debbie and my brother Gopi and family. They have a YouTube channel, guys. Please check them out. They made us this beautiful shirt and they sent it for us. It's Gopi and family and Miss, De uh, Miss Debbie. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of our hearts. One love. Thank you for um, always looking out for me and always dropping your beautiful comments in my video and stuff. I do appreciate what you have to say to them. Thank you for the shirts. Thank you. And make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like no. and subscribe. You have to say thank you for the shirt and we appreciate it. So thank you once again, uh, Auntie Debbie and Uncle Gopi. Thank you for this beautiful shirt. Okay. We loved it so much. So I had to wear it and do a video for today. Um, today I'll be cooking some pumpkin, some fr um, fried pumpkin and some fry um, bangamari fried fish with rice. So before I get into the cooking, I just want to say thank you again so, so much. And thank you to all my subscribers, followers, friends and family who like and subscribe. We do appreciate you guys and welcome to our family. Thank you. My water is hot for um, my water is hotting for the rice, and I was having to cook the curry. So the meanwhile, I'm gonna get started chipping up the onions. And guys, I'm peeling the um, pumpkin now. My water is hot to cook in the rice. In the meanwhile, As you can see, this pumpkin has no kind of seed inside, so it's not about a lot of seed inside. Once again, um, my brother Gopi and Miss Debbie. Thank you for this beautiful shirt. Everybody loves it. The kids love it. I love it. And the wife loves it too, but she doesn't want to come in the camera. She's camera shy. So hopefully next video, you can get to see her inside. Okay? Thank you guys. I cut it wrong like this because it's easy to peel as you can see you peel really fast it doesn't like that that hard to peel you just cut like this and you go wrong so guys what I mean to say is butternut squash but it's same thing like pumpkin so I call it some, sometimes pumpkin too you know but it's butternut squash though So guys, he just put the rice, he doesn't know what to exactly do, so I show him, but he still doesn't get it, he'll get it someday though. The 
Lift your hand. It's a little more. Mm -hmm. So guys, he put the salt in the rice and he's gonna turn it up now. He's still still learning it, guys. He's, he's not perfect yet, but I'm learning him from now. So when he gets to like to, to be become like a teenager, he can know what to do for himself just in case. Like if you're not home and you want to do something or cook something, you can know how to do it. Because he has a, a few years more to become a teenager. He's already 11, he'll be 12 pretty soon. So he got like, like three, four more years to become a teenager. So he can learn by himself and do whenever we're not home. Oh, yeah. So guys, I put like um, two teaspoons of garlic in here. One teaspoon of curry powder. And I'm gonna put a pack of sauce on. So in here, this is how it is. One te um, two teaspoons of garlic, one teaspoon of curry powder, a pack of sesame, and I'm gonna throw a bit of salt. Like your average just salt, guys. You don't throw a lot, guys. Just remember the size on, and uh, the seasoning gets salt on it. And I got um a teaspoon of flour here. When I'm ready to fry it, I'll throw it in. So in that way it doesn't stick to the oil. The flour make it um doesn't stick to the pan. So I'm not I'm not gonna add the flour yet because I don't want it to get um smooshed up with the seasoning. When I'm ready to fry it, then I'll mix it up before I fry it. I show this like this. And I got half a teaspoon of ground pepper here, but I'm not gonna add all because the pepper is hot. So I'm just going to throw a little bit for now. And mix it up. Mm, I'm going to make the pepper in my mouth water leak right away. Or should I say drool. But this is how it looks guys. So this is how it looks so far with all the seasoning and everything inside. So that's how it looks for now. I'm gonna let it soak for 20 minutes. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna chip my um, pumpkin and get the rice going. The rice is going already, so I'm gonna chip my pumpkin now. I'm cutting out the pumpkin now, guys. But I know the pumpkin looking so um, yummy, guys. As you can tell the color. If this color is nice, nice and bright, I mean, if the butternut squash is sweet. So guys, here's my setup for my um, butternut squash uh, fried pumpkin. I got my shallot, my garlic, my onion, my um, parsley, and mint leaf, my pepper. And here I have the pumpkin chip up and washed and ready to go. I got my fish in here seasoning nice and ready to fry. So this is, this is for all over here is for the fried pumpkin. And this flour is for the fish when I'm ready to fry it. So that's how it looks. 
and my rice is boiling over there as you can see this is how everything looks in the kitchen so far Oh, it looks guys it looks so yummy already, right? So um guys it's optional. If you guys wanna add like a little bit of sugar inside, you can add sugar inside. But it depends how much you wanna add, so like it's optional to put if you want to put. And if you don't wanna put you don't have to put it inside. But I'm gonna put just a little bit uh, a little bit inside. Me guys, I'm gonna add one, one teaspoon. And then you know how the pumpkin is, um, the butternut squat is cooking. I'm gonna put the oil on the other side and I'm gonna get the fry fish going. So guys, I'm adding the, the one teaspoon of flour over the fish now. See, this is how this is all that I was telling you about. You see, how I added flour. It's so nice to look now. It's now like pasty, pasty together. When you add the flour, when you're about to fry it, the flour is just gonna wet and stick it on, stick on the fish. When you fry it, it's gonna loose. It's not gonna stick. So there you go. So I have to the fish now, guys. I'm putting the fish to fry. Remember guys, when you fry the fish, you don't want to overcrowd the pan because it's going to stick together. 
There you go, guys. The four sedes and the fried. As you can see, guys, it's going to start with the steam already. When it loses its own water, I mean, it's done, and then you're going to turn it up and let it dry it on the water. And when the pump, and I mean, guys, I keep saying pumpkin, but it's burning up squash. I'm sorry about that, guys. So I'm just ready to come out. No, I'm not going to fry it yet, but so I don't know it's I'm going to take out that one that's already. Part is a little thick, so that takes a little longer to cook. So I'm just gonna spread them over a little bit. These two are done. So this is how it looks, guys. Happy fed loading, guys. So guys, the fight is done. I'm taking out the last set now. I cut enough, I cut enough um, like small tiny pieces guys, so it looked cuter and nicer in the plate. I tried a different style to add, I had quite a big today. <coughs> And that's it. As you can see guys, it started to melt already. This is two big butternut squash in here. So it loses a lot of water as you can see. You can see look, it started to melt already. So I still have to um, melt more. I'm gonna just melt and it go down. Gotta let the water dry out and then it's all finished. So guys here, it, this is how it looks when it melts. As you can see, all of it doesn't melt out properly, but that's okay. Once it boil.
So guys, we're just waiting for the water to dry, dry down now. Like the water to go down a little more. And then I'm gonna take it out, it's gonna be finished. But we still have a little bit of water inside yet, so. I'm gonna dry down a little more. So dry to throw, I'll throw a little bit of ranger on top when it's finished. Okay, I'll arrange it guys, like we like, we have like half a teaspoon right here, or it depends on what you want to throw to. So my pumpkin is done, as you can see, the water is, um, dry, by law, it's dry down. So this is how it looks, pumpkin is done, fry fish is done, rice is done. Time to sit down and have some nice, Delicious pumpkin with fried fish, fried bagamiri, fried fish, and rice. So in 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 fact, this is um veggie pumpkin, guys. There's no meat, there's no rank in here. It's just all vegetable. There's no meat inside. So this is a, a vegetable butternut squash pumpkin. So I'm making the plates to go on the table, guys. So go sit down and have some dinner. So guys, here's my fried bangamiri fry fish, my rice, and my pumpkin over there. Butternut squash pumpkin. So this is how my plate look. I got my pumpkin, I got my fried fish, and of course I have my weary pepper on top there. So I'm digging it in my hands today with this because I haven't had butternut squash pumpkin or any pumpkin in a long, long time. So. Before I get into that, once again, I'd like to say, Gopi, my brother, and Miss Zevi, thank you so much for your beautiful, beautiful shirt. Big up to you guys. I appreciate this gift so much. Thank you, one love. Welcome to my family. So let's dig in, guys. So first, I'm mixing up my pumpkin. I'm gonna try to fix. It's all fluffy. And I'm gonna have a piece of piece of the weary pepper. A piece of the fry fish. Give it a little mixed up. Oh. So how did it taste? Okay. It tastes really good because it's spaghetti. So first one is for the subscribers. And the followers. It, the, this food tastes really good. And it used to taste like my mom. <laughs> Guys, nothing tastes good when you eat with your hand, especially your homemade food and pumpkin fried fish. This is a be good food back home when you're in Guyana and you just want to cook something fast, a quick dinner or a quick lunch. You do like pumpkin, veg, uh, like bora, vegan, squash, okra. These are the thing you used to eat a lot back home, and up to now I still love to eating them. So I'm my the hand. second one is for me and everybody else. Hmm, delicious guys. The pepper is burning my mouth. Once again, we all thank you so much for hitting the like button, the subscribe, the notification icon on. So after I post a new video, I get a notification. And once again, I'd like to big up my sister Marissa from Canada. Happy, happy birthday to you today. It's Saturday, I know you're not gonna see this video right away, but we all love you so much. And thank you for everything you did for us when we came to Canada back in the summer. We all love you. Love you. Peace, Peace out. out.